Let's make some Lucky Charm stickers using an SBG. We're going to open up a new project on our Cricut Design Space, and then we are going to upload our cut file. I have already uploaded it here, but we're going to just do it again so you can see that all I do is drag and drop. Uh, I'm looking for my Lucky Charm cut file, uh, my SVG. And this is kind of a complicated cut file, so it's going to be a great one to show you just how easy it is to make stickers with an SVG. We're going to upload that. We're going to click on our recent uploads, and then we're going to add it onto our canvas over here on the right hand side. And here it is on our canvas. Over here on the right, you can see in our layers panel how all the shapes are kind of broken out so you can turn off any of those layers that you don't want if you don't want to make all of those stickers. But we're just going to use them all and um, I am going to leave everything highlighted in a group over here in the layers. I'm going to leave everything selected here on my canvas, but I do know that I need to change the or the dimensions of this to fit within the print and cut uh, dimensions that Cricut Design Space allows. So I'm going to highlight my width and change it to 6.75. And once I hit enter, it'll keep all those same measurements because I didn't unlock the square. But this is our print and cut measurement is 6.75 for width and 9.25 for height but we're not gonna use that 9.25. And these will still make good size stickers. You can see the U is still about two inches wide. Um, so I'm going to go over to um, the right here on this layers, on the bottom of our layers panel and click flatten. So that'll flatten that. Compress all those layers together and then I'm gonna click offset. This is what's gonna create the, the <clears throat> shape around all of our stickers that make that white space. I don't like to have it too big. Um, I like it probably 0 0.111. Um, oh, well, I guess I didn't click apply. <laughs> that would be helpful. So make sure and click apply once you get to the size you want. You can make that white border as big or as little as you want. Um, I'm going to go down one more. Okay, now we're going to click apply. And it turns it black, which we don't want black. So we're going to go up here on the top menu bar where we see this black square. And then we're going to click that print type. We're going to um, choose the color of white. We're going to highlight both of these layers. So you can see on this layers panel, they're both selected. And then we're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to click flatten again. So now they are just one layer, and then we're going to click Make It, and we're going to send it to our printer. Turn off the bleed, because we're just going to have a white outline for those stickers. So we're going to turn the bleed off, and then we're going to click Use the System Dialogs box and click Print. And the system dialog box, at least for me, it usually pops up right back here, right here. And then I like to slide this so that we get the best printed project we can. I loaded my sticker paper into my printer. You can probably hear it in the background getting ready to print. Um, and then I am going to change um, the base material actually to poster board on the dial for my Explore Air 2. But poster board is the base material when I go to cut it. Because I print it out on my sticker paper and I use a, um, let's see, an online labels sticker paper. It's called the Weatherproof One label sheet so it's a full size label sheet and it's the waterproof one from online labels and then i'm going to cover it with a um, avery self laminating um, sheet so that it gives it that extra protection and then change my base material for to cut to poster board and i will get those 
cut out. Here is our stickers, or here are our stickers all printed out. I'm going to place this down onto my cutting mat. And these black registration marks are the marks that the machine are going to read in order to um, cut the stickers out. What I like to do is take my ruler and measure within those markings so that I can cut seven and a half by six and a half. And then I, um, I like to cut down my, this is my Avery self laminating sheet. I like to cut those to fit within those lines because, um, let's do seven and a half this way. A little less than seven and a half, I think. Uh, the the machine doesn't like the glare off of these um, self laminating sheets, so I like to make sure that when I put it on, it's within those marks, so that <clears throat> the Cricut can read it easier. So we will carefully add these. And then I just use a scraper to kind of get a good seal and press out any air bubbles as I go down. That work out those bubbles. Okay, and now we're going to put it into our machine and let it cut. It's loaded into our machine, but I've got to go over here and change this from cardstock to poster board. And now I can press cut and it will start reading those marks and get to cutting. And there you go. They're all cut, ready for sticking on whatever your heart desires.